Reddit and clan discords right now are flooded with memes like this showing geomancers are doing crazy amount of damage to the clan boss, whether it's ultra nightmare, nightmare, brutal or wherever. He's basically doing millions upon millions of damage. It's a known bug that Playram has um, you know, confirmed that it's a bug and they are fixing it immediately. But for now, players are posting their screenshots showing crazy amount of damage. Everybody is proud that for once in their life, they can one-shot the um, clan boss. They can do crazy amount of damage to him and take their screenshots. So whatever world record for the best damage to clan boss <laughs> probably have been beat by now. I don't know. Because they are we're seeing damages going up to the billions. So checking your clan, you see images being posted. Even on Reddit, everybody's posting it. So by the time you're watching this video, this might have already been fixed. So it's a known bug. It's just for those players who have Geomancer in their unkillable teams or normal teams. When it places the HP burn, like I do have HP burn on mine right now. And when it takes a turn, let me put it on 1x speed so you see what happens. When it takes a, a, a hit from the clan boss that reflect damage or whatever they call that is passive that is what does the millions of damage to the clan boss i woke up logged in usually i'm i hit the clan boss at 11 a.m when it resets i was surprised to see that the clan boss was already dead like his health was the affinity has already switched when i logged in i saw only two players see 46 million 46 million because is that million? Yes, that was 46 million per hit that the clan boss did to him. So I'll put it on 2x right now and see. Vizier is there extending it more because as long as the HP bone is there, the clan boss takes a hit, double hit, 46, 46. So that's how players are hitting those amount of damage. Now, what will Playroom do to the already expended keys by some players? Will they return the keys to us or will they accept this damage for today as legitimate damage? Because it's clearly not legitimate. We don't do this much of damage to the clan boss. Will we get rewards for this um, hit that we did, we put in before the fix happened? Or will they just sweep it over the under the rug? I'm not an official content creator for Playroom, so I don't know the um, terms of condition about talking about bugs. Of course, you can report bugs. Of course, you can report it to Playroom or report it to the community. I don't know about put it on, putting it on YouTube. If it's something that is going to be eventually fixed, I don't see why they will have an issue with content creators talking about a bug that happened. Because it's not like it didn't happen. It's not like we're encouraging other players to exploit it. Like I said, by the time this video is out the bug is fixed so we just wanted to show i just wanted to see how sh for you guys who missed it if you are offline at least you now have a video of um, geomancer are doing 24 46 million to the clan boss per damage he takes his hp bond has fallen up no 46 46 million we are currently at con count 31 so by the time I hit count 50, because that's when the clan boss takes those huge damage and everybody goes down. By the time I hit that amount, I'm sure I might hit 2 billion. <laughs> Let's see. I'll fast forward this video to the end. Let's see how where it goes. Alright, just as I was recording this video and watching Geomancer doing his damage to the clan boss, Playroom came up with this message. 
just like as I was recording right now. It says, Raiders, we would like to shed some light on the recent changes with Geomancer's passive skill, Stone Guard. Geomancer has neither been buffed nor nerfed. That was my initial um, you know, thoughts. I was like, why would Geomancer suddenly start doing this amount of damage if they were not trying to change something about him? That was the first thing I thought about. You must have gone there to touch his passive or whatever and messed it up. That's why you see him doing crazy amount of damage right now. And this has confirmed now that they were actually trying to fix something with him. And here's what they fixed. His passive skill, which currently you know, triggers War Master or Giant Slayer, whatever you place on him, will no longer trigger War Master or Giant Slayer. According to said, the issues affected the Geomancer Stone Guard passive skill are now fixed by changing it so the damage from his passive no longer triggers certain masteries. So instead of fixing this 46 million whatever, the solution was to turn off Giant Slayer and um, War Master on Geomancer's passive. That was Plar that's Plarium's fix for this. Instead, the damage will now ignore the target's defense. So if he's doing, let's say, 20k damage, you ignore somebody's entire defense, maybe 40k or 60, I don't know you can do the maths to find out but it's not as much as giant slayer and as war master this also means that geomancer mansa will come out of a lot of teams because the only reason why we put him there is for the war master and giant slayer procs on his passive we don't put in as our um stun target in unkillable teams for his just passive and um, 10k hits 20k hits no he's there for this war master and giant slayer passive hits and if this is turned off because of this bug that means Geomancer is automatically out of every unkillable team you can think of. I guess now Brogni remains the top tier one that can receive that amount of damage and this passive will send it back to the clan boss. Um, please note that this ignore of defense is not yet specified in his skill. That means maybe in the next update they will put it in his skill. Also, to compensate for the change, we've updated his passive skill to deal additional damage that scales up based on the enemy's max HP. Enemy's max HP. So if it's not War Master or Giant Slayer, now it's enemy's max HP. I guess a quick try will tell us if he can still be our clan boss um, <laughs> stone target. To help to keep its power level and make sure that Geomancer is as effective as he was before the current rebalance damn damn so that's my damage during the bug so after if i get a new key i might do a new run or watch out what other content creators are saying about this if this was the right thing to do you fixed a problem and it caused an issue instead of undoing whatever you did you decided to remove War Master and Giant Slayer from Geomancer's passive and give him increased and damage based on enemies max HP. That is the passive. I will have to see what damage the community comes up for him if it's still part of these unkillable teams. If it's not, it's going to be a sad day. But I think that to prevent players from revolting or for, to prevent players from, you know, going crazy about this problem um i think they are going to make this enemy match xp um, damage reasonable enough for geomancers to still remain in unkillable teams my name is brief 5d tell me whatever you think about this whole saga that's drama that how it happened i i don't know what to say about it it was just surprising i thought they'll be like hmm here's your key back you do too much damage to the clan boss give me back two keys you know just give me my two keys that i spent on nightmare and ultra nightmare let me tell you what my team is doing two million two million i mean two billion two billion one point so everybody who had geomancer basically did crazy amount of damage to the clan boss today and right now it is fixed and that's the video you saw i'll see you guys in the next video guys let me know whatever you think about this whole thing in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube videos. It's crazy that this happened live when I was even recording. Alright guys, 
I'll see what other content creators also have to say about this whole thing.